Issaquah home of an 80-year-old woman is devastated. She's lived there since Dwight Eisenhower was president and says she has never seen anything like the recent floods. Kara Simmons, Gary Horker is live now in Issaquah. And Gary, after living there for generations, she figured her home was safe. Well, Linda Linden bought her house here along Issaquah Hobart Road, Monique, when the Seattle World's Fair was still being planned in 1961. So, yeah, history was kind to her, and she did feel safe. But the unprecedented historic floods that ran through her backyard were powerful enough to pluck a brick sidewalk. All the bricks were out of the ground. There's the pile of them right there. And it was so powerful, the current ran silt all the way through her floors into her house really torrents coming down through here. 80 year old Linda Linden says after living for 59 years in the same spot, she'd never seen anything like the power of the flood currents last Thursday. It's never come in my house before. And this came in my house. But at first that damage came in quietly at 3 a.m. How come my feet are wet and why are my pajamas getting soaked? <laughs> Here I was sloshing through all this mud and water. For the next 48 hours, the crashing flow was relentless. It filled the old nearby creek bed to the top with rocks. This is where the creek used to be. You would never know there was a creek there ever. Nope. She pointed out to us where the creek bed carved a completely new path, and that destructive path led right into the home she bought in 1961. The water came to here. And the silty flow reached places. And down the hallway. Where it had never been before. And now Linda needs new floors and a lot of repairs, and insurance won't cover it. She does everything for anybody that'll ask. And even those who don't, Linda's always helped anyone in need. She volunteered in Paradise, California, after after the wildfires and she has always helped her neighbors. So neighbors are going to help her now. In the last couple of days, people have anonymously donated to help Linda stay in her flood damaged home. I cry because of the generosity of people. It just blesses my heart. There again, God's good all the time. <laughs> She has an irrepressibly great attitude, folks, and this is how historic the floods were. This little bridge had part of the Issaquah Creek tributary running underneath it, and it had four feet of clearance for about 50-something years, right? Well, you can see soil and river rock has packed it to the top, though everything has been rerouted. So now she has to have a retaining wall put out here to keep future floods out. She has to have all of her floors gutted. If you want to help her out, we put her information on our website, Cairo7.com. And we're live astride the Issaquah Creek here in Issaquah. I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News. Oh.